My name is Joe Orsi. I'm a fishery research biologist for NOAA, Alaska Fishery Science Center in Juneau, Alaska, Ted Stevens Marine Research Institute. That was a surface trawl video using a GoPro camera of fish as they entered into the trawl and it was looking forward in the trawl so you could see the fish dropping back into the net and it was traveling about you know three knots speed and the fish entering were juvenile salmon and then there were some market squid, clouds of market squid and then there was also an ocean sunfish which was about 400 pounds that passed through and got wedged into the net and once we brought it on board after the trawl came back we released it and then there was also some Pacific pomfret that were caught uh, which is kind of a temperate fish, uh, predatory fish. We were trying to catch juvenile salmon which we did but we're seeing some odd uh, occurrences this year out in the open ocean because of the warmer temperatures. Typically you don't see ocean sunfish up this far north and our June survey we actually caught one that was 900 pounds and this survey we caught one that was 400 pounds and they're not real common up in these northern Gulf waters. I know there's been reports of them caught all the way up to Prince William Sound and we've had some recent reports here of uh, fishermen catching albacore off Noyes Island down on Prince of Wales Island and there was a bonita, Pacific bonita caught, I believe it was in the Ketchikan area about the same time in the middle, middle of August. So these warm water species are, are hitting up with the warm blob conditions that we're seeing out in the ocean. Last year there were some occurrences of the sunfish in other surveys, but to see the, the market squid that spawned down at Little Port Walter down on southern Baranoff Island this year, that's the first time I've ever heard of that happening. The market squid typically don't get this far north, and we did catch some out here off Icy Point, which is north of Cape Spencer. There's this warm water mass that the species associated with warm water are, are moving up with. And the, the question is, you know, how is that going to affect our Alaskan fishes, in particular salmon? I was it last year or the year before that the thresher shark that was caught in the survey was the furthest north ever recorded but I believe the ocean sunfish have been seen up here before, as, as I mentioned, the market squid have as well. But the fact that the, we get the numbers that we're seeing are pretty, uh, pretty striking. The fact that we got two <laughs> successive months each catching this ocean sunfish and we're only doing like four trawls offshore there. So, you know, it's just a very strange coincidence to, to have them occur that, that soon back to back.